What's up fellow adventurers? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the Banff vlog. So yesterday was our first day in Banff. We did horseback riding, explored the town of Banff and it was amazing. So if you've not yet checked out that video, go ahead and check that out. But today we are going to Lake Louise and Lake Moraine, which are the like most photographed lakes in all of the world or one of the most photographed lakes, one or the other. And I am so excited to see these lakes. This is a huge, huge reason why we went on this trip. So if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and let's go to Lake Louise. Now something extremely important to know is that there's limited parking when it comes to these lakes. At Lake Louise, there's a small parking lot, but I guess it fills up before sunset. And at Moraine Lake, there's no public parking. So the best bet for you to see both these lakes in one day is to book a shuttle with Parks Canada. Tickets are about $8, so it's very affordable, but you need to book this well, well in advance because these shuttles sell out like crazy. So what you wanna do is just Google Parks Canada, Lake Louise, Moraine Lake bus shuttle and book your tickets as soon as you can so you can guarantee that you're gonna see these lakes. Now we did see them both in one day and what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually drive to Lake Louise Ski Resort and park your car here. And then from there you get to hop on the shuttle bus and these buses are running all day long you can book your first ticket to go to lake louise and then at lake louise you can hop on a new shuttle to go to moraine lake and then take the bus home from moraine lake back to the parking lot it's very very simple and easy to do and what i will say these buses were pretty nice they were like a charter bus and the drives aren't too bad i think from the parking lot to lake louise was about 15 minutes and the moraine lake might have been 20 minutes um so that's what you're going to need to do if you want to see both these lakes welcome to lake louise now lake louise has to be probably the number one lake to visit when you come to banff it honestly might be the number one thing people see when they come to BAM. And for good reasons. It's a beautiful lake, the turquoise waters, the mountains, but here's a tip for you all. As you can see, there's a ton of people right here. That's because this is where the shuttle drops you off. So everyone just kind of walks right there to see the lake and then they start to try to take pictures, but you're gonna get people in the background. So what you wanna do is keep following the trail around the lake. You'll see great angles of the lake and you'll be able to take pictures with no one in the background. Also at the lake is the famous Fairmont Hotel. If you Google Lake Louise, you're gonna see this hotel in pretty much all the photos. It's a beautiful hotel. You don't need to stay here to pop in and take a look around. You can go get a coffee or a snack as well. There are a ton of hiking trails at Lake Louise as well, ranging from easy to moderate to hard. One that I really wanted to do, but we didn't have enough time was the hike to the tea house. I guess I'll have to hit that the next time I come. But one that we did that wasn't too long was a hike up to the viewpoint. So where you wanna go here is kind of by where the kayaks are. And you're gonna hike up to the top and you're gonna see this beautiful viewpoint of Lake Louise and the Fairmont Hotel. Now this one is definitely moderate. Um, it gets very steep at times. So just keep that in mind if there's anyone in your group that maybe can't make that steep climb. But it was definitely worth it to see that beautiful, beautiful view. After a couple hours at Lake Louise, it was time for us to head over to Moraine Lake. Now you can come and go as you please with the shuttle. They run about every 15 minutes, but we had our fill for Lake Louise and we were really excited to now check out Moraine Lake. Welcome to Moraine Lake and my personal favorite. This lake absolutely blew me away. So it is a little bit higher up in the mountains and it still has that beautiful turquoise water, but the mountains up here are just so much more magnificent and just jaw dropping. This place is incredible. I think I also liked it because it felt less people-y. It wasn't as many people and tourists and, I mean, there's still people here, but it just didn't feel as busy as Lake Louise. It felt more rustic to me. Now, when you get here, a place you wanna go is this little trail that's gonna take you to this unbelievable viewpoint. This trail is very easy. There are stairs, but I saw people of all ages walking it. It's very, very short, and I'm telling you guys, the views are worth it. Here are the views at the lookout point, and this is when I just went, wow. I mean, look at that. It's even more incredible in person. And it was just, I could have sat there and looked out at the lake all day. It was so, so beautiful. And on the other side, you have this gorgeous view as well of the mountains. Again, you just have to walk up here and check out this lookout point when you come to Moraine Lake. Just at like Lake Louise, you can kayak here, but it is very, very expensive. I think those kayaks run like $100 for 30 minutes. Like it's really expensive. I didn't decide to do it, but 
I think it's definitely worth it if you want to, just know that you're paying that price tag. What we decided to do instead is just walk around the lake. We didn't want to do any crazy hiking trails. I just love this lake so much that I wanted to walk around it and just be surrounded by it. After a full day of exploring the lakes, it was time to eat. We went to Magpie and Stump in downtown Banff and this tacos and margaritas definitely hit the spot after a long day at the lakes. I also love the vibes in this restaurant. It was so fun. Now the food was good, but after a couple more days here in Banff, I had better food at better restaurants, but it wasn't bad by any means. It just wasn't phenomenal, but it definitely hit the spot today. Hey guys, so it is the next day. We got back really late last night and I pretty much just passed out. I was so tired after our day. But I did want to give a little recap on Lake Louise and Moraine Lake and the whole shuttle process and all of that. So the shuttle was great. You basically park at the ski lodge in Lake Louise area and then you hop on these, they're pretty nice charter buses from the parking lot that took about 15 minutes to go to Lake Louise. And then from there, you can hop on another shuttle to go to Moraine Lake, or you can take the shuttle back to the parking lot. So there's like multiple ways you can get where you need to go. Now, when you book the tickets online, you can either start and go to Lake Louise first or Moraine Lake, but we decided to go to Lake Louise first, which I kind of recommend doing that early in the morning because I feel like it was getting busier the longer we stayed there and later in the afternoon. Now, I will say my overall thoughts, I, absolutely love Moraine Lake way more than Lake Louise. I mean, at the end of the day, they're both magnificent lakes, but just to me, Moraine Lake was like untouched beauty. It was more rugged there, where Lake Louise felt a little more commercialized, if you will. I mean, you have the beautiful hotel there, and it just felt like, I don't know, more of like a tourist destination. Still beautiful. I still think it's like a thing you must see when you come here, but there are definitely just different vibes at each lake and I really recommend doing both lakes. It was doable to do it in a day. We didn't feel rushed. Um, we got on the shuttle at 10 a.m. So we went from 10 a.m. about probably at 10.30 ish we arrived at Lake Louise and we were around there for a couple hours then at two o'clock we took the shuttle from Lake Louise to Moraine Lake and then we I think we got back on the shuttle at like 5.30, went into town, had dinner and all that. So it was a full day. Like if you're gonna see these lakes, definitely schedule a full day to see them. I think they are still a huge, huge must do when you arrive. And I will talk about some trails. So at Lake Louise, there seem to be more trails. I know there's a the famous trail up to the tea house and then the beehive, which is this beautiful lookout. We did not do that um, just because of the people in our party. They were unable to make that hike. And also we weren't really, we were crunched on time. Like that would have taken probably four hours, I think to hike to the tea house. Um, so maybe my opinion might've changed if I had done the tea house. If you guys have done it, definitely let me know down in the comments. But. There's lots of hiking trail opportunities. There's easy hikes too, just around the lake so you can see other viewpoints of the lake. And then at Moraine Lake, there's amazing, amazing lookout that everyone must do. It was very, very short and it, there's a lot of stairs, but I think people of all ages could do it and it doesn't take that long at all. And you hike up to like this amazing viewpoint and you're gonna get the most fabulous photos and videos there. Like it was absolutely stunning. But um, yeah, I think, Definitely, I would love to come back to Moraine Lake for sure. It just, there's just something about it there. The mountains were even like taller. You felt like, I think we drove up more actually to get from Lake Louise to Moraine Lake. I think it was higher up in the mountains and it just felt like that. Like it just felt rugged there. And I, I don't know, it was just so cool. And a tip though for you all, if you need to use the bathroom, use it at Lake Louise, not Moraine Lake. Moraine Lake's bathrooms were horrible. <laughs> like. I had to hold my nose because it smelled so bad and it was a squat situation. Like, ew, it was not a good situation. So if you have to use the bathroom, use it before you get to Marine Lake because they're just, they're not the best. They're more like outhouses, honestly. Yeah, but yesterday was just absolutely fabulous. Definitely if you're coming here for the first time, schedule a full day to see both those lakes. It will be so, so worth it. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it and you found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming BAMF adventures. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. You cut me loose and set me free.